Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today is Sunday, May the 8th, and it's Mother's Day. So I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all out there that are mothers, whether you have um, children, human children, or whether you have fur babies, or you know, whatever. And I'm sure most of you have mothered someone in your life. So I just want to say Happy Mother's Day. I hope you have a great day. Um, even, you know, if you're at home and your children live far away from you and can't come and see you today or anything like that, you know, um, you know, make the day the best that you can and, and celebrate yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't wait around for other people to celebrate you. Celebrate yourself. Do something fun for yourself. I don't know if you're, you know, if you're at home and can't go anywhere, fix yourself a, <clears throat> a special meal, order out to, you know, have food delivered or something or just fix yourself a nice cup of coffee or tea and you know fix you a little snack to go with it enjoy your day do something to celebrate yourself today don't wait around for other people to celebrate you <laughs> that's my motto I'm gonna celebrate myself <laughs> so today um, actually we are <clears throat> getting ready I'm ready I'm waiting on big daddy to get ready he is so slow getting dressed. Oh my gosh, it takes him forever. Hold on. <clears throat> it takes him forever to get dressed. He's so slow about it. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I can jump up and jump in my clothes and be ready. And he is, um, gets slow, gets dressed very, very slow. <laughs> it's, we joke about it all the time. Everybody knows he's very slow. <clears throat> but anyway, um, so I'm waiting on him to get dressed and ready and then we are going to pick up my mom and we are going to take her out to eat. I'm taking myself out to eat too. <laughs> and my my oldest niece, Jennifer, is going to come and um, eat with us. We're, we all meeting at a restaurant. And so she is bringing her daughters, Hannah and Hazel. Hannah's 15 and Hazel is about to turn two. So anyway, we're gonna meet with them and have, you know, lunch out and then we're going to my mom's just to hang out and visit. And, you know, just celebrate with her a little bit today. Um, and, you know, that's what we have going on. <laughs> so that's that'll be my mother's day. And, um, you know, looking forward to just, you know, being with my mom actually having her out of the house and not just laid up in that bed I'm so glad that she's getting out of the house that just that does a lot for me it does a lot for my heart because after my dad's funeral she just wanted to lay in the bed and not get up and that's what she's doing and so just now she's decided that she's gonna get up out of the bed and do some do things you know like go and sit in her living room or go out to eat so anyway I'm very very thankful that she has um, you know come to realize that she still has to live because she has family <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing my niece um, and my two great nieces so, um, you know, happy to be seeing them today, too. I love them very much. And they live kind of far away from us. I mean, um, they live several towns away from us. And so we don't see them that much. They're um, Hannah's school and my niece's work. She's a nurse. Their work is even more towns away 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 from us so we don't see them that much because they do everything on way over there and then for us um, we do go to my mom's it's in a town over but my husband works this direction a couple of towns over and we do a lot of stuff that way <laughs> so we don't see my niece that much um, but I talk to her and text her you know um, pretty regularly so anyway, I'm excited to be seeing them today. But I wanted to show you, since I'm going to see my niece Hannah today, and she just had a birthday, and so I wanted to make her that Kauai Cuddler birthday cake 
you know, pillow for her birthday. And so that's what I've been working on the last few days. And I have it finished. And I'm so pleased with how it turned out. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. So here it is. And I hope the... I think I'm using the right phone. That the numbers should look right to you. I'm sorry if it don't. But I think I grabbed the right phone. But here it is. Um, she is turning... She just turned 15. So, uh, um put a 15 on there so you can see the bottom of the cake as a little face and it's just some yellow dots for decorating the cake and then a 15 and some yellow dots and turns out um, everything this is craft smart yarn yesterday's video I told about the yarns really but I'll just recap that a little bit this is craft smart yarn aqua It's a purple. <laughs> it's a pink. <laughs> um, this is a Red Heart Super Saver White. The um, icing is. And the candles and this 15 is actually, um, I love this yarn, Fruit Salad, which I thought look, would look more like confetti. So anyway, and then the yellow up here is a mainstay. It's not yellow. I don't know the name of that. It's not a yellow. It's kind of an orangey yellow. I just had it in my stash. I don't even know if they carry that color anymore. But when I, I was like, oh, i got to make the flames. And I opened my cabinet door, and there was that yellow. And I was like, that works. <laughs> so this is the way it turned out. And I am very, very pleased with it. I, my original thought was to put the 15 up here instead of the five candles. Do I have five candles? Three, four, five. Yes. <laughs> My original thought was not to put five candles, but to put the 15 to look like those number candles <coughs> that you can buy on the cake aisle at like Walmart. But um, the five would not cooperate. I, I tried everything. I had two of the numbers, you know, I had two ones and two fives. I sewed them together. I put a little bit of stuffing in there. <coughs> it wasn't room for a whole lot of stuffing, but I did put some stuffing in there and tried to um, fix that. And just because of that five, the way it is, it was just like, oh. <laughs> so, uh-uh, it wouldn't work. And I just thank you all for your suggestions on where to find numbers. I ended up using um, Happy Berry. Is it Happy Berry? Something Berry. I think maybe Happy Berry. But, uh, you know, thank you for all the suggestions. Um, when I looked at the, the different options, I felt like their numbers were about the right size that I needed. And so I um, used a 3.25 and did these numbers because I wanted, after I found out it wasn't going to fit up here, that wasn't going to work. So my next option was to put it on one of the layers of the cake and I needed it to fit between the two icing strips. So I used a 3.25 3 hook on it. And the rest of the um, pillow, I used a five hook, an H hook. So, um, and this yellow is a Craft Smart too, the little dots, I didn't tell that. So everything on here is a Craft Smart except for the candles. This is a mainstay. And um, the, this, the icing right here is... Um, Red Heart Super Saver and it's not even white it's the soft white that you know you can't tell it's not white unless you put it next to a white <laughs> yeah so just one more time and then this is what the back looks like you know anybody can decorate the back but whew, by the time I got the front decorated I was done <laughs> so I was and I've already, you know, committed myself, not that anyone knows except for me and you, and it's our secret, but I've already committed myself that I was going to make one of these this year for all my nieces and nephews that have, you know, when their birthday comes around. And so far, Hannah has been the first one, so she got the test pillow. So now I've committed myself to make the other ones. I've got two next month. So crocheting the cake was simple of course it's just the um well it, it, nothing on it was difficult the, the most difficult thing was i added on myself the 15 
that was just frustrating trying to get that to work because I tried lots of different things and was trying to make that work and um, it just wouldn't work. And so I do appreciate all the suggestions that everyone left in the comments. Um, Y'all had lots of great suggestions, but this is what I decided to do. And some of you suggested putting a pipe cleaner in there, but you probably didn't realize that the person getting this has a two-year-old baby in the house. And so, you know, you didn't know that. And so I didn't want to um, do that just in case she got a hold of it and somehow or another the pipe cleaner came out. And, you know, I just didn't want to do that for the baby's sake, just to be, you know, safe for that. But anyway, I do love how it turned out. I hope that Hannah loves it. Um, so there, that's the only two nieces or, or nephews. That's the only two I'm going to see today. And so I'm giving Hannah this. And so because Hazel's going to be there, I'm going to give Hazel something too. And I've already tried to give this to Hazel. And when I met up with them that day to give this to Hazel, I forgot it at home. So I'm going to give her the Flip It Baby today. That's uh, a pattern by Valerie at um, Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet and Sewing. <laughs> These long channel names get me mixed up sometimes. Anyway, that's the um, Flip It Baby that I made from the, her pattern. It's asleep on one side and then it's awake on the other. So I'm giving this to Hazel and I already meant to give this to her. But I just, I forgot it at home the day that I went and met him and was going to give it to her. Story of my life. <laughs> so I'm giving that to Hazel. And I did not say, this pattern is by 3AM Grace Designs. Um, their website is like 3AMGraceDesigns.com. And then at the top you'll see a, a little button you can click on for Kawaii Cuddlers. And this is listed in there along with lots and lots of other quiet cuddlers. I have a lot of their patterns. Um, uh, I, I really enjoy their patterns. I've made lots of their patterns in the past and I, I really enjoyed making this so I think I'm gonna be um, going back and making some more of those. Actually Elijah's friend wants me to make her a butterfly and so I did go get the butterfly pattern and I haven't made it yet <laughs> so I need to start on the butterfly. And so, I might start that this next week. But anyway, out later, not right now, when you're viewing this, if you're viewing it like right after I put it up, there will not be any links below, most likely, unless I can get those put in before we leave the house. But later on tonight, I will have a link below to this, or to 3AM Grace Designs, and you can check out their website. Um, they have some great patterns on there, too. But anyway, I am very, very proud of how this turned out, and I hope that Hannah will like it. Um, but we better get going. I gotta go in there and hurry up Big Daddy and tell him, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> but I hope you all have a great day, no matter what you're doing, no matter, you know, what's going on in your life today. I hope you make it special for yourself. Bye, friends.